Don't you think it's time to recognize there is as little worth on your side as there is on mine? There's a scene sort of around about in the middle of, of, the, of the film where Peter Gwilym is, is, is at a low point and George Smiley uh, takes him up into his hotel room and they have a drink and he tells him this story. Smiley elucidates uh, what this is really all about, um, his alter ego in Moscow, this very, very um, indistinct character called Carla. He feels responsible, I think. This is his big trauma, his biggest failure in his professional life. The received wisdom was we'd have to dramatize this, we'd have to go into a flashback. It was Thomas in the end said, let's just have him tell the story, no matter how long it is, even if it's five pages of dialogue. I met him once, Carla, in 55. I think you can do a theater scene in a film if the text is good enough and the, the actor is good enough. You have a wife, don't you? You can bring Carl into the room just with the empty chair, especially if Smiley starts, rather than just talking to Gwilym, starts acting out the scene and talking directly to Carl. Then. Yeah, I brought you some cigarettes, by the way. Use my lighter. It's the most, I think, George has possibly set in his life. Um, but it's taken a bottle of scotch to sort of loosen him up. They're drunk, it's late at night, and Smiley uh, confesses to having met him and given away far more than he should have done. I should have walked out, of course. But for some reason, it seemed important to save this one, so I go on. We should be with George all the time. I give him the usual pitch. Come to the West and we can give you a comfortable life. I thought that the camera should be Peter. He sees the old master getting drunk and start open up. I kept hopping on about the damn wife. Telling him more about me than... That had to be very intimate. We should do it very calmly and slowly coming closer and closer. We used a lens that we only used twice in the film, a, a 50 millimeter lens that is almost in, in, in behind his eyes. We both spend our lives looking for the weaknesses in one another's systems. It was such a hard moment for him. I, I needed to leave him alone a lot because he had to do it 20 or 30 times that day. What was astonishing was holding a scene like that with Gary's performance. You, you, I felt like I was the luckiest man in the world. I, you know, I'm literally sitting in sort of space like a sort of pub or you know, stu tiny studio theater. And it was like you know, a, a one-man show by Gary Oldman. And I think Gary delivers this in a most subtle and beautiful way. It's, it's, it's a masterpiece. Never said a word.